Hey guys, Dan Antoine here. Welcome back to episode 64 of my Muddy Survival Let's Play. And first things first is I'm going to need to grab some more food. Luckily, we have this lovely little pouch, which I will probably keep and add some more stuff to eventually. But um, without further ado, I, uh, I've been looking around this tower. I've, uh, I've actually, where they've uh, turned it into glass, I've actually smashed it and gone outside and had a look and this seems like it's the the place to go but the problem is I can't find anywhere to get up so I think what we're gonna have to do is break this now I don't particularly want to but I don't think we have much choice And there is no way I'm letting these things survive because they will just teleport me out. But yeah, if uh, if we have a look on the floor, there, there doesn't appear to be any way to actually get up. So, by the looks of it, we actually had to, uh, had to break through. So, um, yeah, I, did, I didn't know that last episode, so... That's why I, uh, I didn't really know, and I forgot that that turns into water, because it's not packed ice. God damn it. I should have got some blocks, really. Um, oh well. And I know I'm flying, but it's because I don't actually have any blocks to, uh, to run with. Come on, there we go. So, yeah, this is apparently the way that I need to go. Um, and I guess this is the next floor. And let's just get up here. There we go. So this is the next floor. I don't know how many floors there are, but it seems like there's quite a few. So, we're going to have to uh, keep climbing. Yeah. Oh, oh. That looks like it's it. So, are we ready? Just don't want nothing to uh, creep, on my, creep up on me. I'm going to grab this. Although, I did use the arrow. So, that's a little bit of a problem. Which means we can't really use it. Um... So we've got that, da, da, da. we don't really need anything else. I'm going to take my region flask just in case. We probably won't need it, but you never know. Oh god. Okay, so... Oh, there you are. So you've, you've spawned, so that's a thing. What the hell? Wait, what? Wait, no. What? Where's the... Oh! Hello! Um, okay. Okay. So, I can't hit you. What do I do? Um, I, I don't know what to do. I can't hit you and I don't have any... Ow. Luckily, you're not doing any damage. So I can only hit her from the top by the looks of it. And oh my god, that she's just not letting me get close. Uh, oh, she spawned some more of these, which is actually not that bad because these are quite easy to kill, luckily. Um, but uh, yeah. So as far as bosses, this is actually the hardest one so far, purely because I can't actually hit her. Because she won't come down onto the floor. There we go. Right. Where do you go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, so... <laughs> so I can't actually hit this woman. Urgh. No, 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 I do not want to fall. 
Okay, okay, calm down. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, this this is kind of difficult just because I don't have my bow. If I had my bow, I would have been a lot better off. Unfortunately, I don't even have anything to go ahead and create. Although... What happens if I do this? Really? Wait, what? Where'd she go? Um, for some reason I feel like that's actually doing something. I don't think it is. No, I don't, I don't think it is. Um, so yeah, this is just tricky. Uh, there's nothing like difficult about it. It's just tricky because we can't actually hit it from below. So we need to wait for her to actually do that and then we can hit her. Which doesn't actually go too badly. Now we need one more hit and we are kind of almost running out of floor. Go, go, go. No. Okay, okay. Let's kill these. Get rid of these first. There we go. Right, so where is she? There she is. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. Ah, uh, screw it. Yeah! Sweet! So we've just completed the Snow Queen and I believe... Holy crap, we've got a lot of snowballs. Let's just get rid of a few, shall we? We should have picked everything up. So we've now got the Snow Queen trophy. And we've got a Seeker bow, which I'm not too sure what that does. Did we get anything else? I think that was it, but I'm not sure what this Seeker bow does. So we'll have to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, our network's kind of getting a bit full, I think. So I might have to go back and sort that out. Again. Which sucks, but, uh, you know. So, we, the, um, the one thing that I did notice about this tower is you can just do this. Yeah, you, you can just break the tower, but I didn't want to because, well, that didn't seem very fair. So, apparently, that's the spot they were in. I didn't think that she was in there. I thought that she might have been in that green one because that's more like the uh, the middle one, but uh, apparently not. Apparently she was in that one, so that's fine. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually go to the thorns biome, which is the one that I keep flying through and getting damaged near spawn. Um, it's like a cross between green and brown. Um, it's the one surrounding the um, I can't remember what it is it's it's pretty much right below me that's what I wanted to say uh, although I think that I may have messed up and flew far too far I did, because, uh, yeah, none of this stuff was spawning in. So, if I use the arrow... The arrow that doesn't really work. It's kind of down this direction, I think. Towards the tower. Yeah, it is. So we should be going through it in a minute. 
And why am I not using my sash for flying? It'll make things so much quicker. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the thorns biome, I believe. There it is. So this is something that we need to get rid of. Um, there is a cave somewhere, a troll, cra troll cave. And that's what we need to find. Now possibly... Uh, there's the little sky island. I think we had to kill something else as well, other than the uh, troll. Might have been something to do with this. And for some reason, these are... I'm a giant. Ah, giant miner. That's one that I need to actually kill. I think. God damn it, why won't you die? There we go. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had to kill that giant man. Oh my god. Okay, we need to try this. Wow. Um, I would say that's quite a big sword. Um... Okay, so yeah, that's that's a that's a new thing. Um, <laughs> uh, giant giant sword. I don't think I've actually ever seen that before in Minecraft. Um, so we need to go ahead and find the troll cave. Which this seems this seems very ominous. There's nothing there. Um, yeah, that just this chunk of rock here, it just doesn't seem like it should actually be there. So that might be part of the troll cave with the world generation. And saying that, all of it actually looks the same. So there's got to be a troll cave somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, what if we look on the map? Oh, this big green bit's the actual thing. Okay. Um, what's this? Some sort of house. A goblin house with a cauldron. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So it seems like there's some sort of little goblin village up here. What's this? Is this any sort of entrance? No. Um. The hell are you? Wild boy, you're dead. Ha ha. Because I can. So, we need to find the entrance. Monster spawner, skeleton, dread. Let's get rid of that. Nope. Not dealing with that. Also, did I get an arrow from that? I didn't. Damn it. Oh god, that's that's oil. That's dangerous. Oh god, now I'm, now I'm nauseous. Sorry if people get sick from this kind of thing. Um, there we go. So this is just some sort of weird tree trunk. So I'm going to have to look around for this. But before I do that, I really need to go back and obviously sort out my sorting system. Okay, so... Um, I've gone back, I've sorted my AE system out, it's all good now, um, it's pretty much just a quick fix, I've just put another, a new ME drive in, and I came back, and I was looking around, and I honestly couldn't find anything, so I had to go up and uh, go and look on the internet, and apparently it was something to do with uh, the giant uh, miner and the island. I know it was to do with the miner anyway. I also got a pickaxe. I didn't realise that I got that. Um, but apparently it's something to do with this island and underneath it. So, because I couldn't find anything going around, all I found were random caves. There wasn't like troll caves or anything. I, uh, I came down and I found this. Now, this is a troll cave because, well, that, that right there is a troll. So, 
I actually... Well, whoops. Um, yeah, also, I did put uh, arrows in here. I did um, kind of figure that something had happened. Now, I'm not sure what this bow does. I think it does, like, kind of seek them. But let's get rid of him so we can talk to this lovely little troll. So, as you can probably tell, these blocks, they're not normal. Um, this is uh, some sort of obsidian, and apparently in the middle of this there is a chest that will hold the uh, thing. The lamp of cinders, or whatever it is. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I did have to look it up. It's a shame, because I did want to find it myself, but I honestly couldn't find a cave connecting to this. So, unfortunately, I did have to look on the wiki for this, but um, without further ado, and that's like the second time I've said that now, I'm going to go ahead and break these blocks. This may take a while. Yeah, this, this is really going to take a while. There we go. So, we've destroyed one block. Now, apparently there is a chest in the middle of this, so, this is gonna suck. Uh, breaking blocks, because it sucks. Why did it have to be obsidian? I mean, they could have at least given me a diamond pickaxe or something. Not a stone one. Hmm. Okay, so that's the chest. Um, sweet. Um, also, something I do want to note about this pickaxe, it's pretty cool because it actually mines like... This, see, this is weird, it mines a 4x4 area. It's kind of strange, but it's also extremely cool. So, let's have a look what's in these. We have some torch berries, troll steam, quite a bit of coal, the lamp, and then magic beans. That's interesting, I'll have to have a look see what they do when we get back and we have the lamp of cinders so unfortunately taking it out of the chest doesn't work so you will have to chuck it and then pick it back up to get the achievement and that is pretty much it now all we need to do is figure out how we got in where was our little hole um I've lost the hole. Um, that's not good. Uh-oh. Uh I can't find my way out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't even know the way in. Uh, duh, duh, duh. There it is. Okay. So what we are supposed to do with this lamp, apparently, is to burn this. Okay, so I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this. Um, surely I don't have to clear the entire forest with this. Right, no, I don't, do I? I have to get something. Hold on, because I've got the wiki up right here. I have to do something with this cinder's lamp. Okay, so I need a thorns block or a green thorns block. So can we just... This is going to take a while. But will we, will we get the block? That's the question. I think I've just crashed the game. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard me when it crashed, but the, uh, the game actually crashed. I think it was because I used the lumber axe on this. Um, doesn't seem like it liked it. But I've, uh, I've been having a look, and 
the achievement for Twilight Forest is to get past the thorns and unlock the door to the, of the castle. Now, we can't actually do that because as far as I'm aware, the castle isn't implemented yet. So, that means that we are going to uh, unfortunately have to finish the Twilight Forest here. At least for now, until it gets updated. I may carry on uh, when it does, I might not. Probably not. Uh, this is pretty much the end anyway. You never know, if it gets updated uh, in this world, then I'll probably go and do it. But yeah, so that is unfortunately going to be it for the Twilight Forest. It's a shame. It, it's actually a really good mod. But that's... Uh, that's how it goes. Everything must end. So, yeah, that is the uh, Twilight Forest. It's taken me quite a few episodes to actually uh, explore it all. But I, I've, I've had fun. I've, uh, I've actually really had fun. It's been interesting. So, I think what we might start doing next episode is actually getting into... Thorncraft because I haven't touched Thorncraft all season and I kind of do want to uh, go ahead and start doing again although I sorry about that um, I do kind of need to sort my base out because I'll, uh, I'll show you no come on open up there we go right so pretty much all I did, because this is completely full, all I did is just add another one down here. Um, however, we cannot add another one on that line because that is now full. We can do it on there, but so what I'm thinking about doing, if my game doesn't crash again, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is sorting my base out a little bit more, but I don't know when, because it is a big task. And I kind of want to get it sorted before um, before I go into Thorncraft and stuff. So that I can have everything all sorted. Because at the, at the minute, it's a bit messy. I mean, yeah, we've got our AE2 stuff back here. We've got a couple of barrels there. Which I'm thinking about getting rid of and just putting more drives in. Because why not? We've got automated stuff over there. But... I don't know. Although this is like my most favourite room. I love this room. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about sorting all this out up here. But I don't know. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens next episode. But that's going to be it. So I want to say thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.